everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, today, okay, Tuesday, and uh, um, I will uh, pin uh, pin my video. Yeah, I'm in uh, uh, the navy uh, blue t-shirt, and uh, echo. What's that echo? Echo. Let me see. Maybe I don't know what. Let me see. Uh, do you have a echo? Echo? Uh, let me just figure out uh, the echo if we still have it. Uh, maybe. Okay. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay. Actually, um, I do not want to um, mute all, and uh, I want to uh, keep our class um inter activities and uh, let me see participant here and if somebody want to um uh to ask a question a quick quick question you can uh, ask or just raise your raise your hand yeah, and the other people pin my video so it won't jump up. Uh, I mean, the the big other because of the sun uh, to other versions. You're going to have your headphones yeah. on, right? Right. So pin the video, uh, please. And uh, do we get all of oh, oh, get 11 here? Okay. Um. Uh, you all have. Uh. You're in U.S. This class right now. Yes. Yes. Um. Where are you located, Lulu? I forgot. Colorado. Colorado. Yes. Colorado. And Susan, you are in uh Florida, right? Susan. Susan Tabush. Susan Mary. You are no, in. I am in Guatemala. Oh, what, what time? What local time you have right now? Uh, here it's 10, uh, five minutes till 10. Uh, AM or PM? AM. AM, oh, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Okay. It's one hour uh, later here. Okay. And uh, on the Charles, Charles Daniel, where are you? Where are you? In Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, okay, East Coast. Um, and uh, Alex, Alex Muga, where are you? Uh, I'm in New Hampshire. New Hampshire, okay, New England area. Martin, where are you? <clears throat> Martin, can you hear me? Oh, I cannot hear you. Do you have the microphone? Um, probably not, huh? Okay. Uh, Kathy, where are you? Ohio. Ohio. What time you have you you have? It's twelve o'clock noon. Twelve o'clock noon. Okay. Okay. Uh, same time as East Coast, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, um, uh, do I uh, sound pronounce correct? Uh, Mad Madeline Madeline Warren, where are you located? I'm here in Florida. Florida, okay. Uh, Florida um, has the um, uh, same time as East Coast, right? So, right. Yes. Okay, noon 12, noon 12. And uh, um, Emily Whittle, where are you? I'm in North Carolina. Oh, okay, East Coast, East Coast. Hey, most of you, you are, you are in the East Coast. <laughs> okay, uh, so probably yes probably summer summertime um, i mean later on yeah. i can i can i can think of our earlier earlier to start yeah actually um uh, pacific time now is nine 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 o'clock um, uh, i started my, my class and uh, um i'm very glad um and you guys back to the uh, to the class. And however, um, I'm very happy to see your um, homework as well. And actually, I found uh, uh, lots of <laughs> Susan was on your face. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't needed any. 
Well, um, actually, um, um, everybody, everybody is different, different in the group class. And um, one of the purpose to learn this class and um, to come to this class is to um, to learn a little bit of calligraphy and uh, learn, learn it as knowledge um, to see what you're um, curious about, you know, the things, the language things and the character things and the image. And also we learned the technique of the handling brush. And also I think this is the good chance like once a week um, for everybody to have like exercise, you know, to practice together. You know, sometimes I want to do something. I want to learn a little bit of something, but you know, I need a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Even now, um, I don't need like a degree. I don't need this, any certificate to do things for my career. You know, uh, not not like my parents asked me to do that. But I still want you know something going on there, and got a little bit of pressure there. And some I got the teacher. You know, sometimes can you know. Uh, of course, help, or I can watch what, you know, what he does, what she does, you know. So welcome back, yeah. And, uh, Victoria, um, it's Andrea here. Uh -huh. I can't stop my video for some reason, it won't start. Uh, so I've got sound, but I haven't got video. Okay, are you on? Uh, that, that's uh, okay, yeah. it's no problem. I can see you, it's just you can't see me. <laughs> right, I saw, um, well, very, it's black. Did you open the lid of your camera? Yeah, everything's fine. For some reason, it's just saying it's failed, and I don't understand, and I don't want to start messing about with it while oh, you're on. Okay, uh, so okay. I'll try uh, and sort it out okay, later. Okay. okay, if you question, que uh, que question, you can ask. I cannot. Thank you. Okay, but I am here. Raise the hand. Raise the hand. Uh huh. And uh, um, yeah, but for for others, I saw the uh, the picture. I mean, the video is on. Um, very good. Um, and uh, I know lots of, uh, uh, I mean, like Susan, Susan Mary, uh, she uh, learned, I mean, uh, the choreography actually for uh, quite long. And uh, for her, uh, for her um, homework, um, she still uh, concentrated on the standard style. And uh, everybody is different. Everybody is different. Okay, some people think um, one style, uh, just one style I, um, I need to emphasize on and I just enjoy doing that. And uh, uh, like uh, for Susan, I didn't, I didn't ask her why um, she likes the uh, standard style, but I know lots of people just feel actually standard style is most challenging <laughs> things yes. to do. <laughs> And it's one, what is one, what now? Uh, for years, you are still doing that, and you want to do that, right? And yes. uh, yeah, but uh, do not feel bad if people feel um like uh, the walking style or like the um the cursive style better. Um, there is a thing is that those two things why we are going on here uh, since the beginner class. Uh, more, more forgive, forgiven <laughs> for the uh, compare with the standard uh, style, but also I said um, to train your loss of like a fluency and also um, the different style show your um, character, your, um, personal characters and your um, artistic part of consider the whole composition and uh, you know everything there. So. Um, um, I always, uh, I already found uh, some people um, like, or some people good at the standard style, and some people good at the walking style, some people good at the um, cursive style. It's just fine, just fine to let you know that. Uh, even for the calligrapher uh, in China, um, we have a different. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, style, the only, probably only one style they are concentrated or say they are good at that. Uh -huh. Okay, um, uh, the handout uh, we uh, give out today, um, there are two, two characters. Um, the one is, um, now I'm doing this, the, um, 
I put also the uh, the sound pronunci uh, uh, pronunciation there. It's the uh, ear, then the uh, the ear, and uh, it's um. Uh, I'm not teaching language here, but by the way, just to let you uh, know the sound, it's nian for ear, it's nian, um, and nian, yeah. And uh, um, I want to show you the original, the oracle, um, oracle yeah. word for the, for the nian, let's see. I didn't print out, can you uh, see a little bit? Because on the top is computer print out the nian. And uh, um, I know it's um, probably uh, blurry um, and the flash. Uh, can you see a little bit of the Im I image of uh, image of that? The nian, the ear, the meaning? A little bit, yes. Yeah, a little bit. OK, it's the man. Uh, it's the man, uh, people, the man uh, carry uh, some harvest, uh, some things um, on the back. Whoops! Can you see a little, a little bit of that? The yeah, image. yeah. Yeah, the man holding things, uh, carrying things on the back, like a very traditional um, peasants uh, or anything, you know, from the harvest. Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, carry carry things on the back. You know, like original, probably the crops, um, like in autumn or early winter, uh, got crops, and he's uh, he's holding, you know, ho holding things on the back, <laughs> on that car carrying that. Um, I mean, from the from the fields or anything. Original should be not wheat and not uh, rice. Probably in China, on uh, the very beginner is the millet. Anyway, however, on. Uh, let you know uh, uh, this character become this kind of the meaning, uh, and uh, uh, we say that is high um, hieroglyph uh, character. Um, so uh, people stand and carrying some harvest, some crop um, on the back. So which means once a year, because uh, original uh, agricultural country, <laughs> original once a year. So that's the e meaningful year. So uh, kind of vertical things so with people standing and uh, with some uh, so top like that. So with some like the plants top, you know, some leaves, some branches, some things. And the left and the right, some branches, but the center, center vertical, um, vertical stroke dominant because it's like the people stand there are very sturdy um, and for the uh, like a span uh, spying or things you know so this character that we're talking about one need to be one uh, stroke normally vertical one uh -huh. uh, dominated the whole characters right okay Okay, wet the brush and uh, thoroughly wet it and uh, dip it in ink. Uh, some uh, students asked um, how big the size of the brush. In now basic three brush, um, about uh, one inch and a half, that good for like one inch and a half a square uh, inch characters. If you want to uh, uh, write the bigger character, you want the bigger brush. Uh -huh. We also have the uh, like the very good one, or you uh, good one is like I think the General Shiju Wang Wang, like last name W A N G Wang. Uh, he's a famous uh, calligrapher. Also, I think General General like General Shiju is his name. Okay, um, the little slant one first on top. Press and gradually lift, not too weak, huh? No, uh, see, very, yeah, slow, slower, uh -huh. gradually lift. 
and no, um, not too weak, too long to do the uh, nail, uh, I mean the nail uh, tail, I mean rest tail. And then uh, horizontal one. And then the other horizontal, horizontal one. And then um, a vertical one, but kind of a uh, kind of dot, kind of with some direction, kind of a vertical one, but it's a kind of the dot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other longest. Horizontal one. So three horizontal one, but try to make the different uh, um, length. And the vertical one dominate, which means need to be stronger. Press, press, press. And then gradually, gradually, don't swaving. Gradually, gradually go down. Down, 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 down. Gradually, gradually lift, gradually lift in the air. A little bit back, kind of that. So even is the um um I'm the uh, the tip bottom, but gradually lift, gradually lift. Do not swaving, okay. Yeah, just remember this. Um, we saw the image like a vertical one, uh, dominated, like a people standing there, uh, and. Uh, but some vertical, uh, uh, vertical one, yeah. But some horizontal one indicated the tree branch, uh, plants bran branches, and also some like probably people's, you know, people's arm or things like that. This is not good. I need to gradually, gradually lift, you know. Okay, this is standard. So very clear. No. To do. No. No what? Cannot start. Oh, sorry. Cannot see. I cannot see you. Huh? I cannot see you. Yes. You have to block the other ones. I I think people need to turn off their mics. Uh, what's the question? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Can you, can I, uh, um, I, I think, think it's people, people need to turn off their microphones. Turn your some mic people don't have their microphone. Uh, some people don't have the microphone. Turn, turn on the microphone, turn on the video. And uh, yeah, I try um, not off the camera sometimes yeah my paper or my camera a little bit different angle so this is a standard i would do one again you know like uh, on our students uh, like uh, susan mary said actually um standard like a one stroke by one stroke very hard very ch challenging Gradually lift, gradually lift in the air, a little bit of pause even. Okay, this is the uh, stand, this is the standard. And uh, let's see the, uh, so we know the vertical one and with some uh, uh, horizontal strokes and uh, see vertical, vertical, uh, I mean, vertical, vertical strokes uh, dominate like people stand and some uh, radical, I um, some horizontal one. And uh, like the, this one indicated we saw that like the um, plants top, you know, the branch or the leaves or some things like a branch of the millet. I don't know how it grows, <laughs> but thinking about that, the, the image, you know, plants top things and the side things. So a little bit of this kind of things and the plus some horizontal and the vertical dominant. Okay, uh, that's the standard, very clear and very straight. Okay, then uh, let's see the, um, the 
uh, walking one. So walking one, you can still tell, right? Um, this one, uh, see this slant side is still kept, and the vertical one, and uh, most trees see this vertical, uh, this uh, horizontal one become the the dot become kind of you can think of the, like a three horizontal one, you know, three horizontal one, and some uh, connection uh, together three, but different length, you know, different length. And this one become the longest and then vertical one. So I will write that. Everyone actually write a little bit, a little bit different. So more connect and uh, the dot become kind of three vertical one. So first, slant keep, and then one horizontal, and then one, two, three vertical. Here need more connect. Okay, do again. Slant, horizontal, longest horizontal, two, three, vertical one, go down sturdy and gradually lift. You know, this more connected be, uh, become um, from the uh, standard style. Can you tell it's walking? So left and right, left and right, step by step, step by step, you know, faster and uh, more connecting, but still, you know, some horizontal one, some uh, vertical one. So that's the walking style of the uh, ear, nian sounds like nian, uh -huh. and uh, then let's go to this. This is really the um, cursive style, uh, running style. <laughs> it's much more, um, I mean, curvy, uh, cursive than the walking style. But it still, um, as we see the image, you know, something on top, something on top. Let's see this. See something on top and the vertical one, vertical one, but connected. Uh, I, actually, the order is different. So this first, on top one first, like the plants top. Um, the branch top, top of the plants, top, and then back to do the uh, vertical one, like people stand, you know, vertical one, and then normally con connect, uh, but not not very rounded, huh? not very, I mean, not uh, with, with some, you know, a, lip, a little lifting and back here to do like the three horizontal one. Uh, can you see my curse, right? And one, but connected, two, and connected, three. Yeah, so I want to like the, um, analyze these things to you and you do yourself. But these three horizontal one still crossed on this vertical one. So this first, I'm going to write. So top one, uh, slant one first, and then back a little bit brush to do the vertical stroke. I want to put them together. Okay, so slant and back a little bit your brush and you do the vertical one and then connect to do the one, two, three. This is the cursive style of the ear. And uh, 
right? So you do the order different. Top one first, and then back a little bit to do the vertical one, and then back to do one, two, three, indicated horizontal one. Indicated horizontal one. Yes, I show some the some pause and ready to do next characters. That's how I um, mean. Sometimes people people do that, and these kind of the things, not the uh, not the firm uh, stroke, just some show some show some things connect. So, one, one, two, three. This is not good. Try to back to the stroke. And you can do like a three, three strokes. You see, not this not very big, and this bigger. You know, to three horizontal one a little bit different. See the sample. I always say the sample is the best. I just show you how to do that, and you can do yourself. And um, you try to mimic mimic the uh, the best, the master one. Yeah, see, try to do yourself, and then. You know the three horizontal strokes, not the same, um, not the even. Um, yeah, see here, put some power, but not the even length. Here, here, here. One, two, three. Okay, that's for the the ear. And. Uh, um so we learned the ear um and uh, we learned the uh, the day and we didn't know the month yet but by the way um we learned the um ear already since um, I try to uh, let you learn the uh, very um, simple things for the uh, um, um, 2020, <laughs> how to write it um, in a very uh, simple, uh, simple uh, Chinese way. So um, the, the number, the two or the second, we use the same character. It's like that. One horizontal one, the other horizontal one longer. Hey, this is two, number two. This is a two. So two and a zero, we just put circle. You know, circle. So we, if you write um, vertical, vertically, ver, uh, vertically, so a two. Easy, huh? So guess what's the um what's the uh uh um what's the number what's what's the one how how to write one? Guess, <laughs> Susan, you are correct. Just uh, okay. This is one. <laughs> this is one. Ah, uh, okay. What's the three? So one, two, three. Uh, the middle one, the second one, uh, shortest. And the bottom one, put it longest. Uh, that's one, two, three. But uh, uh, start uh, from the fourth, the <laughs> different four, different. So we'll learn later. Anyway, we learned uh, 2000. 20 like that, and then you put your um put your um uh nian, put your ear underneath or beside later, like when you you can write. C 
maximal side. Okay, so two thousand twenty, or are you right? vertical way, you can do either. And we will learn the, the month uh, later. And we will learn the uh, real character for um, uh, like the zodiac things for uh, uh, Chinese lunar uh, lunar year this year uh, later. That, that's the uh, real characters. And uh, But this is also for number we write as well. So uh, since we learned the Nian, uh, we do this, uh, just give you this very simplest way to write the, uh, the 2020. Okay, let's move on to the, uh, the other characters. So this is the character for flower. This is the uh, standard character for flower. See this, uh, okay, with, uh, with this kind, th this is the top we call um, grass top, grass top. Um, first, uh, first um, it can, comes like a, a two, two things like the sprouts or some things like that. And then become straight, become straight. Um, and uh, anything like if a plants or flower or grass with this top, we, we call this radical, you know, lots of things uh, in the radical. This, you see this, which means plants, flower or grass or some things um, indicated like a na in the, uh, the natural, um, like a vegan, vegan thing, vegetable thing. We have lots of these kind of things you will see. Um, in the computerized things, most like uh, like a two cross, two cross. So which means uh, what's come from? I showed you this. Where's come from? Is uh, come from the see these two things, like two sprouts, two sprouts. Like I just wrote the two sprouts and become more straight, more straightened. Um, indicated the grass top. And the, um, uh, we say uh, our language is a uh, hieroglyph language. And uh, so this is the, but sometimes we put the uh, sounding part um, with some uh, like same or uh, clear sound, sounding part and the meaning part together. So this is for meaning the the, this radical for the meaning indicated the flower is belong to the uh, plants, so not, not animal. We have animal um, things um, radical later. We will, we will learn that. Uh -huh. And uh, so this indicated the meaning of the um, grass, plants. And underneath those parts together is other character uh, sound like the hua. And uh, this flower sound sound based on that flower, the hua. So this part underneath um, for the sounding and uh, the top grass one for the like the meaning. So um, combined it together. That's right. This uh, standard style, standard style. Okay. Um, top and the left to the right. Vertical, horizontal, horizontal, 
vertical, two verticals, try the right one stronger. And then the underneath part. This part actually is the people as the radical. Slant and uh, vertical and then slant. Gradually lift. And then the vertical become turn and press, 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 and stretch out, gradually lift, become a hook. So like a two cross on the top. And some people do write, like a put, put two uh, cross together, like the one big horizontal stroke to connect them together and then a two vertical one. Lots of characters, there are different way to write. Well, some, not that much. At this turn, uh, vertical become horizontal. It's kind of the smooth, but kind of the um, uh, straight, it's kind of the straight and this smooth without pausing, without pausing. But here, uh, before the hook stretch out, do pause, 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 and then gradually lift, like the stretch out a little bit back and the stretch out for the standard. Um, it, it, it is hard. That's why <laughs> the Susan said uh, it's not easy and very challenging. And uh, after years, he is, she is still, I mean, just uh, um, yeah, doing that, keep doing that, doing these challenging things. Anyway, um, that's, on, uh, that's also very good way to uh, practice our brush, brush handling. Okay, that's the standard size for the flower. And uh, see the top of the grass top radical. And uh, this is the uh, walking style of the flower. Walking style of the flower. Uh, can you still tell? Yeah, I will see the, the order change. See the top grass one, the top grass one become like a two horizontal one first and connect. See my curse, horizontal one and connect, not solid, not, not very solid. And then the, the other, the second, the horizontal one. And the one, um, uh, I'm sorry, I said wrong, uh, vertical one. First the vertical one connected the second the vertical one, and then the one connected the horizontal, big horizontal one, big horizontal one. And then, uh, you know, the down uh, and the underneath, underneath the top, I mean, bottom part for the sounding one, the big connect, connect, um, slant, slant stroke. And then the vertical one, slant. And the vertical, horizontal, but powerful pause and the, just lift in the air, not stretch out for the hook. So order changed for um, faster riding or for connect easier uh, connecting. So see the uh, the top uh, grass radical become vertical first, and and also uh, connect. So one vertical connect the other vertical and then the horizontal one and then the vertical one and then continue with the vertical. I mean, this is slant, I'm sorry. Um, slant, 
and then the vertical become horizontal and stop here. This is, uh, I did very slow. So um, I can do uh, more um, fluent with not that much. I mean, shows the, the starting part and the turning part, not that showy. But you can do very powerful and uh, with uh, um, a slower speed. So this is the walking style, different order and uh, more connected, but still come from that, you see, on top and totally con connect. So you need really uh, to uh, consider of the next stroke or the whole thing. <laughs> Okay. Then um, let's go see the um, cursive style. Um, this is the cursive style of the flower. That's really um, different looking. You can hardly um, to tell um, it's from the uh, walking style, for even from the, uh, the standard style, from the walking style. But um, something, you know, vertical, I mean, a horizontal one, and uh, something like a, a circle, but um, triangle, because um, from the original stroke, stroke, a calligraphy stroke, um, you can learn some uh, techniques actually uh, still from this and uh, it's transferable. So lots of, uh, um, see here, horizontal one, like a kind of the dominant things to start, right? Uh, horizontal one, horizontal one here. See my curse, right? Horizontal one here. And then kind of lift, lift here, and then do some things like the, um, how to say, like the E, the letter E, you know, but more triangle, more uh, calligraphy strokes. Da da here. And then the other one, like the, um, uh, reverse the three or like the letter, you know, letter on uh, E, the capital letter E, you know, here one and the other, you know, like the reverse three here. But uh, this way to say, just to help you to remember this kind of things. Uh, you don't have to remember um, the specific how to do that, but um, by pressing, uh, practicing of these uh, uh, characters, you will learn how to um, handling, how to handle the brush. And uh, these techniques, I mean, lots of like, uh, like the um, wire pen, uh, tendril of the telephone tendril, the traditional one with wire, and uh, but not that smooth uh, circle. It's like, uh, um, you know, more triangle do this. It will show, it will appear in later on uh, lots of characters. So this side of the E or some circle of that side of the, you know, three, I think I said before for our uh, cursive things of the water thing, something like that. But just help you to remember um, the, um, some basic structure, you know, but actually not, not, uh, you know, what kind of E you need to think of, what kind of the three. So, vertical and then become a little bit, you know, these kind of things and then do that. 
kind of the hard folder here. See, hard folder, more uh, triangle shows, and here a little bit of smooth. So some place smooth, some um, place hard folder, and it shows triangle, not the uh, perfect the round. So even you said three, you said the letter E, uh, not exactly the thing, just helped you remember the whole, you know, the structure uh, things, but how to do the calligraphy, calligraphy uh, Z, calligraphy S, calligraphy uh, the three or the E, you need to think about the calligraphy stroke we are learning here. Yeah. Okay, on the horizontal one and the lift a little bit. Okay, horizontal one. And uh, pause and kind of twist brush and uh, lift and become this one and become the other one and continue with the hook. And at the end, a dot. The dot. So some people do, um, you know, everybody do different. They are E, they are uh, reverse three. Um, they are different turning parts, um, harder, smoother, rounded. But in one character, you try to do some things with your um, whole balance and, uh, you know, some balance of the things not very stiff. Yeah, sometimes do more around it here, or you, uh, in your one character, you want to have some on uh, the hard for this place or some rounded place, you know, some circle a little bit shows the triangle or some, some place more straight and some a little bit, you know, rhythm, light and uh, heavier. Some people do very vertical one shows a very long. Some people do a little bit, you know, bigger on the width. And the, the, the turning part actually gradually we are doing. Um, so this is a too close to parallel. Mm -hmm. Those two, not good. Yeah, you will notice um, at the turning turning part, we say the pause or something. Actually, a little bit um, you twist it, you twist the brush. You know, even sometimes sometimes uh, hard folder and sometimes the um, the smooth folder, um, smooth turning. You always kind of the circle there. Sometimes the circle you cannot really see, but I want to say just not directly go, um, come out and back. It's kind of the, some, you know, uh, see this doing, see a little bit of like a twi twi twist, a little bit of twist here actually. At the end, uh, even even doesn't show some things. Uh, still, you know, always twist something round. Even the the circle here, 
or here, actually always, you know, twist a little bit or circled a little bit you, um, in the air or on the top, on, on the paper, doesn't show, but, you know, a little bit, you know, twist and the after the pause, we say uh, just the brush um, goes the direction. It's not good. Victoria, I have a yes. question. Yes. The reason you twist the brush is to keep the 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 point in the middle of the stroke. Is that the reason? One of uh, in the um in the um uh, yes, basically yes. I'm sorry, yes. Um, the uh, especially in the standard size, a standard style. You uh, twist the brush and ready for the next next uh, stroke. Try to adjust the brush, um, bristle centered, bristle centered, and uh, keep the uh, the handle um, perpendicular to the paper. That shows more power. And also for the whole composition, for the hump composition of the uh, we say play with the brush and the paper and the ink, um, like you do. Um, um, the whole composition, how can I say that? You want to see uh, the whole character is the whole whole thing um, uh, to the end. Um, it's like a pra practice Tai Chi, uh, um, like one movement uh, you finished, but you finish uh, only like the 80% and you see at the end, uh, you thinking about this is the point and as a start at the next movement next movement. So kind of, um, you, you, you know, at, uh, at the rounded things to do, you can do the next movement, ready for the next movement. You know, um, the end, this is the end for this movement and the, oh, this joke and also need to think for next movement at the start. So kind of the things you do not want, um, um, how do I say, just feed, uh, thinking about the one stroke and um, just uh, um, you like the Tai Chi, like the sword, you like a to totally do the things, just uh, throw yourself out, <sighs> then no back. You know, um, Kathy Farber probably you know that, that that's that's not not the things we need to do. Yeah, right. We need to like eighty percent and with some bounce things. You know, you can back to the next movement. You know, not totally just throw yourself out and fall down. <gasps> then you, you fall down. Not like that. You know, you need to continue to the the, the next one. So that's why I say always. You know, um, yeah. Like you say, I think lots of exercise, it tells you um, at your most, pow most powerful thing, not like the stretch things here. Let your arm a little bit, a little bit bend, right? A little bit bend. So rounded even on the end, not to, not to throw out things, especially, especially at the very, very last stroke. Very last joke, some people do like the, uh, the vertical things. <laughs> you know, things like that. You like a group of a word and, and vertically and at the very end, people, you know, for oh, do that and shows their um, um, power or brush control to do that. Oh, okay, but still gradually lift. So you don't need to think anything like a very wrong, but it's at the end, at the end. But still, you don't want to, you know, I, as I say, like the sword, like the Tai Chi, you, you totally like the fall down. <laughs> you need to back, you need to back and, uh, you know, stand, stand in the center, uh, with center weighted and do the next uh, movement. That's why I said uh, turning part, especially ready for the next um, 
stroke always you know like the big or small rounded things rounded rounded things uh, even we say uh, like a horizontal horizontal uh, standard stroke at the very first like on uh, um, um, hidden brush um, hidden brush hidden brush tip same thing same principle same thoughts <laughs> yeah you know to uh, to yeah hit that that's the word for hit that uh, hide that uh, actually is for like a rounded things for the for the next step you do not want to lost uh, i mean lost on uh, um, the center weight and uh, fall down mm -hmm. that's for all even for the characters and uh, doesn't look uh, i mean very stable you know uh, very sturdy mm -hmm. and uh, i want to see your works um, any uh, question or any um, any um, yeah any question to ask any question to ask or any work to show me would you would you do walking style of year again please okay working style on um, um, of year yes thank you Okay, slant one sometimes even uh, connect and the vert uh, and the uh, horizontal one and then just do one, two, three and then vertical one. Some people do this is the longest, and some people concentrate on this part. See, and some people do like our sample. This is the longest. The one, two, three, and then the vertical one. Can I show you this, Victoria? <clears throat> uh huh. Who's who's talking? It's me, Sophia. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the uh, uh, I mean, say uh, the um, the cursive style, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, okay. these two on top, I traced them, and then I did this my own. Yeah, I saw your homework. You say you trace them for the composition <laughs> when you are not familiar with. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. You can do that. Yeah, <laughs> but later, um, if you are very um fluent about that, because every time when you do that, different energy, different breathing, you mm -hmm. feel like oh, the the trace line kind of limited me. <laughs> you know, you do not have uh exactly to follow that. Uh huh. Yeah, you understand. I have, I have at first, standard style on the first first one. Uh, good, 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 good. And the, the yeah, the okay, uh, the walking style you can do more um, uh, more yeah. more fluency. Yeah. yeah, it's it's good, good, very good. Mm -hmm. And the very the, uh, the last stroke, last stroke. Even you go the um the um the like a lift brush gradually. Do not sweeping. Because gradually lift, even uh, pause some in the air, shows more power. So Especially the ending, ending stroke, you want to show some power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who is talking, H Kathy? Hmm. Yeah, so the um, walking style that you just did of year looks very different, at least the beginning, than the handout. The handout, the first stroke looks like it's going left to right versus vertical. So see what I see here? First the stroke, uh, no, it's, it's down to the left, uh, not to the right. It's a top, it's a slant to the left, not the stroke. It's a slant, not a press. It's a slant <laughs> like that. It's like, it's like that. Hmm. You understand? It's like that and the, that. That, that. Okay. Yeah, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, sometimes that's why I'm having class, class here. Sometimes just from the still picture, you can, cannot really tell. Uh -huh. And right. especially, this is also. Um, uh, you know the, the 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 rubbing 
rubbing um, from the stone carving and and when it mm -hmm. uh, yeah the not not very clear to sh to show the the order sometimes yeah understandable very understandable um actually on um, anybody else emily emily whittle yes yeah I, i'm i'm curious um did you um did you practice did you um practice the calligraphy uh for a long time um I've practiced it for a while. I haven't learned walking style, so I'm very excited about learning to do that. Oh, uh, where, where, where did you learn from? Um, I've had several different teachers. One of wow. them is um, Kaz Tanahashi. You know him? Um, no, no. He's a Japanese. Um, I see. He's also a, a Buddhist teacher, but he's done a lot of workshops, and I've I've studied with him. Mm -hmm. Very good. I saw your stroke. Your strokes are very, very good. Good, but yeah, that's why I'm wondering. Um, I, I, I bet you got lots of uh, practicing and uh, you learn for quite long. Uh, your strokes are very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, and actually, yeah, and yeah. actually, um, that um, I want to um let you know that the um the bird one actually I didn't um uh, I didn't teach in my class yet. Later I will learn because we learned the flower. <laughs> we all learned the bird. The bird one, couple of them, not the not not the real things for the stroke, for the composition, like the bird, birds. Um, uh, you really got the things I really appreciate. I really like it. You've got some the whole things like the image things, like the direction of the you know boat. Uh, I mean the birds standing like the back a little bit. Some very um there. I can see the gesture of the bird. That's the most on uh, the things I really I really like. Anyway, uh, you got to keep going. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, Susan, uh, Susan Mary, what's your question? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> No, I just wanted to show. Uh -huh. I, yeah. I like your, uh, your walk, walking style. Very good. Walking style, walking style on the middle, on the middle. On the, on the middle one, uh, walk, walking style. Very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, um, OK, put a little bit down. The standard style, I, I will say uh, the bottom part is too, a little bit too big. A little bit too, mm -hmm. uh, too long, too a little bit too long. So, um, like the flower, the stem is too long. Uh, shows not very, um, not very stronger. <laughs> you try to okay. put, yeah, yeah, yeah. The grass top, oh, okay. yeah, grass top uh, as the radical top, and then the underneath the one, uh, you do not want uh, that long and the thin. You know, shows the plants. You know, it wants the uh, the flower, the stem. You know, kind of the uh, lots of stems and uh, but not very, you know, <laughs> slim and very long. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I, I like your walking style. Very good. Very good. Because you had a, a good strokes, ba um, as basic knowledge, and shows your fluence. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. And uh, um, Mad Madeline Warren, uh, um, how how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing fine. I do all my work on the magic cloth. <laughs> good, good, good. Actually, uh, do you like it? I I like it a lot. I I use that a lot. But, uh, I love it. I love it. I practice a lot on that, and then I'm planning to do some homework for you. I know I haven't been turning anything in. I apologize. No, no problem. And uh, um, um, Martin. Martin, yes, can yes. you hear me? Yeah, you can. Oh, I can hear you. Right. Um, I saw your homework, and yes. I like your I like your cursive style. Your cursive style, you got very good um composition on that a uh, composition of the whole frame, you know, of that. Yeah, but some uh standard style and walking style, you need more um walk walk on the work on the you know the stroke basic stroke techniques probably. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I like the uh, cursive, cursive style. I like uh, the speed uh, of. I like the speed of uh, drawing. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Each stroke, a different stroke. Uh, when the cursive style shows, it's just you know better one. So I bet you like the cursive style. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Charlie, how are you doing? 
Charles, you are doing good. Oh, I cannot hear you. Unmute yourself, please. Yes, yes, I'm using the magic cloth too, and everything magic disappears. Cloth, I see the water disappeared. Yeah, it's very easy use, and it won't dust your uh, desk. <laughs> and Lulu, how are you doing? Oh, I did. Okay, look at this one. Uh huh. Um, uh, good, 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 good. And uh, the standard style of the year try to put the three horizontal horizontal one a little bit um, a little bit on top and try to you know keep them a little bit uh, closer a little bit closer uh-huh good 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 okay good see um you know, people traditionally people are um, not uh, not encourage people uh, a student to do the uh, the cursive style without uh, uh, knowing the really character of the standard style or really know the language, really know the character how to write it. So I um I disagree with that and I'm happy to see um, lots of you when you do the cursive style you know shows other parts of the um, artist artistic uh, thinking and the, for the whole image and uh, um, found yourself and actually we, uh, we I think in one class I talked before I talked to the other um, like the my mentor on uh, the calligrapher on um, uh, uh, master of calligrapher and he said we both agree um, we call it running style but we talked about the example like the there is different uh, techniques different uh, you know uh, the capable things to do like the people and uh, the ethnic people for the uh, sports people uh, they can um they can okay uh, the chinese people always say oh if you cannot do the uh, standard style like you cannot walk how can you learn uh, to run you know after walking very well then you can learn how to run Actually, yeah, it's correct. But actually, actually, for the spots, do you agree? You know, find out people, they, um, I mean, from inborn or naturally, they can run faster than others, you know, like a teenager or the kids, you know, and then they were found um, by the coach. They say, uh, this is a good boy or good girl is good at run and then coach them, teach them, train them, uh, let them know some scientific things to make them um, more on um, things they can uh, develop, you know, their uh, capable things to do. They do faster and faster. But I think first that this shows um, their uh, running ability already or some things like in bone they can they can do um they can run faster than others not there is not really um things to do with the how good how you walking very well you know the better you're walking the be the faster you can run no <laughs> yeah some kind of uh, you know this is i don't know it's a good example or not but you know i i i i do feel i do feel um there are uh, different uh, ability to do that and i found myself um um i mean to do the cursive style when i do feel really um comfortable and uh, uh i agree i found your um, doing good even uh so without uh, to write in the standard uh, standard style perfect but still can do things the cursive style and the walking style anyway <laughs> okay uh, yeah happy practicing and uh, um uh, we'll see you uh in next class 
and uh, thank, thank you, you. Yeah, thank yeah. you yeah thank, thank you victoria you. thank you bye bye yeah thank bye. you victoria thank you yeah. so much bye yeah bye. but i just to see your uh, homework now <laughs>